and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping in with the Flight Effects Piaggio P180. We're gonna jump into the Catfish and we're gonna look at our next new freebie that we are giving out. All right, so let's hop inside, have a look. So in this one, it's all about adding a weight and balance app to the EFB. That's right, there is a weight and balance app and it's got checklists inside of it as well. So this app was inspired by Alex Ayer's Excel calculator he did. Uh, and I kind of decided to build uh, an EFB app out of it that runs inside of the Piaggio 180. Now this has been posted over in the Flight Effects Discord for uh, quite some time, but a lot of people, I guess, don't know about it. What you're gonna need to do is download the mod. If you look here in the upper corner, you should see a little flag that will let you click on it to go ahead and download it. Once you've got it downloaded, you're gonna take that zip file so this right here you're gonna open up the zip file and you're gonna see there is a folder inside of it inside of that folder is your HTML folder so you want to make sure that you grab this folder and then you drag it into your community so like all mods this your layout JSON and manifest need to be one folder down don't extract it into the community because sometimes what happens is you end up with a folder in a folder and whatever you do don't grab these files and drop them straight into the community because then that also won't load so once you've dropped that into your community you go ahead and you fire this back up. So obviously we're in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. It works in 2020 as well. There you go, you've dropped it in and it will mean that when you come in the next time to the Piaggio, you're now going to have an extra app. So when you click on the weight and balance app, it'll come in. You do have a lot of buttons. You'll notice when you hover on a button, will light up. If you click on the FFXIO, it's going to open for you a web browser and it's gonna go ahead and take you over to the Flight FlightFX website. And if you click on the P180, it's actually gonna open it directly to the P180 page. The other thing you're gonna find is plain manual sometimes people are looking for the plane manual and what's great is this will do the same thing open a web browser for you and drop you into the Google Drive that Flight Effects uses to post their manuals. You're also gonna find that there is an app manual built in. So if I click on the app manual, it's gonna go ahead and load and it's gonna walk you through it. We can jump back to the main menu at any time head into the app manual and it's gonna tell you there's my checklist button. This tells me how it works so you can see the information. So then it's gonna step you through it. So when you go into the app, you're going to be able to return the main menu. You wanna select between the FFX layout or um, the weights that, uh, that Alex Air provided. You're gonna fill in your position. So these are the official positions of the actual config of the plane. You can see over here on the right hand side, the stations and what they align to. And then once you filled everything in, including block fuel and trip fuel, uh, you'll be able to calculate and then you will get the information. So you got your graph, you have your takeoff trim you're gonna have to set, station layout, and you can even jump to some other tabs. So here you'll see when you click on a box, it'll bring up a punch pad. You can type in the value and you can use the next key and it will automatically move to the next line. Otherwise, you go ahead and hit enter and the keypad will go away or you click in another box. Once you have entered everything, you need to enter the total usable fuel and your total uh, trip and taxi fuel. Note, if you don't enter these and you try to calculate, it's gonna throw an error and it's gonna tell you exactly which box is needing to be entered. Once you've hit the calculate, it will process everything for you. So now you'll get your takeoff trim, you'll get all your three weights to make sure they're correct, and it's gonna plot the points in inside of your CG graph to let you see where you're gonna be for takeoff landing and where your zero fuel weight would reside. Then you can come over and you've even got a unit converter built in. So this is kind of a neat thing that he had in his Excel spreadsheet. So I thought we would incorporate something similar. We added a couple extra uh, line items, but it allows you to type in a value and here it would be kilograms to pounds, here it would be pounds to kilograms, US gallons to kilograms, US gallons to pounds, pounds to US gallons, pounds uh, or liters to pounds, pounds to liters, liters to US gallons, 
And then finally, you can go to the load form. Uh, the load form will show you that for SimBrief, if you're going to go to SimBrief to load up some routes, this basically says you don't put anything for passengers, don't put anything for freight. Basically, you're just going to use the payload entry and whatever value it puts here, you put that. So put nothing for passengers, nothing for freight, just throw in the payload into SimBrief, auto zero fuel weight, and then SimBrief should match up. Now, what we also did add was this does a recalculation. So the official stations where they need to map to the sim locations. So in some cases, there are some cargo and storage locations. We associate those automatically for you to the closest local weight station. And then when you send a sim, it's going to load your fuel and all those weights into the official positions and take care of that for you. So once it's all done, you have everything that you need. And then, of course, on the checklist, there is an ex explainer on how to use your checklists, how the checklists all work. So we head back to the main menu so we can come in here to the checklist and right away we can see that we did this, we did this, we did this, we did this, we did this. I can also just clamp all, clamp all. We're going to the start. We've taken care of these. After start, we might as well say that we're done. Uh, cross our after start before taxi. We got those completed since we're on the runway. If I do go out, go home, right? Go play with something else. When we come back to the weight and balance menu and we go back to the checklist, you're gonna see it leaves off exactly where you were. And if I was to come back to the before, if I was on a turnaround, I could always hit the reset all and it will clear out all the checklist for me. Let's go ahead and use the Xamperial units pounds. We're gonna use this configuration, which matches EFY. So when we come in, like we said, you can pick between which one we're gonna say with FFX because this is gonna match what's in the SIM. It'll automatically load uh, the arm and the uh, the basic operating or basic empty weight for you so you can see that already so I can quickly come in and say well the pilot's actually 195 hit next moves ahead uh, the co-pilot is 172 so we can hit clear 172 and then in the Divian we've got 123 pounds in the right facing seat, we'll say we've got uh, 40 pounds, just something sitting on there. And then maybe we've got another person and we can always uh, hit enter and say, okay, well, towards the back is where our main people are. Sure, we got that for a loadout. This is kind of the defaults for kind of what would be loaded in the cabinets based on what uh, Alex Air shared with us. And then of course where we're going, we've got a block fuel of 2100 pounds. And this is where if we hit enter now and hit calculate, it's going to tell us trip fuel cannot be empty. Please enter a value. Uh, then the other thing that's cool is say we reverse them. We accidentally put the trip fuel in where the block fuel was supposed to be. Uh, and we were to calculate as well, it's going to tell us we can't exceed. So that throws an error. So then it's going to throw us back down. Oh, whoops. We were supposed to be 1400 for the trip fuel. Hit next and it will calculate. So if you get to the bottom, you hit next. It automatically calculates for you. So you can also see your lines, everything you've got. And then as we mentioned, you get over here to the load form. And now that we've re entered these, we go ahead, hit send to sim. Now, before we do that, let's look over here. Uh, and we can see our fuel and currently what we have for fuel. So we're gonna come over here. We're going to send a SIM. It was sent, you saw the SIM drop and now you can see our fuel is properly loaded. So there you go. That is kind of everything to do with our kind of EFB weight and balance and checklist app. It's kind of cool. And again, there are different ones. You can go in and redo it with kilograms if you want to operate within kilograms. And if you wanted the different layout config, you have it in pounds and kilograms as well. So you can go ahead, jump in, punch in your numbers, calculate and send it to the sim. Well, guys, if you made it this far, do me a favor. Go ahead, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and come along with us on the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.